guys, it's Tilly, and today I'm here with my most anticipated reads for 2017. So there's like all the new releases that will be coming out this year, and it is a really, really, really long list. So I'm not going to go into too much detail about all of the books, but yeah, get excited because there are so many good books coming out, and ah, mind is going to be blown. <laughs> So I'm going to take a step back so that I can put the covers here and you guys can witness them in all of their amazing glory. I have not put these into date order because I suck, but I will like edit in the dates down here, this kind of region, so you guys can get excited for then. So first up is one that you guys already know that I am super excited for, and that is A Court of Wings and Ruin by Sarah J Maas. It is the third book in the Court of Thorn and Roses series. It is a fantasy series and you guys should totally read it. The first book was ever but the second book is freaking amazing so I can only expect great things from the third one. Next up is Flame in the Mist by Renee Ed He. She also wrote the Wrath and the Dawn series which I really enjoyed so I just know I'm going to love this book plus the cover is stunning. We don't even have a date for this next one but I'm super excited because it is a Mary Lou book and I love Mary Lou and that is Warcross. This next one I actually have a feeling is going to be a pretty terrible book but either way I'm like totally trashed for it so I know I'm going to be totally on board and enjoy it anyway. And that is Always and Forever Lara Jean by Jenny Hans. This is the third book in the two All the Boys I've Loved Before and yeah like I said I'm not really sure how this one's gonna go but I am. I'm ready. I have seen this next book absolutely everywhere and I've been wanting to get my hands on it because I have heard fantastic things. And that one is Caraval by Stephanie Garber. I am so jealous of every single person who has an ARC this book, but I know it's coming out like at the end of the month, so soon. I have mentioned this one before when I did my video with Tanika, which I will leave a link to below. It was pretty much like the Booksmas book tag, and she talked about this book and got me super hyped up for it. And that one is Strange the Dreamer by Lani Taylor. Once again, this is a fantastic cover, and I am also a huge fan of Lani Taylor. Lee Bardugo has become an automatic buyer on my list, and her new book is Wonder Woman Warbringer, which I'm very excited for. Next up we have Our Dark Duet by Victoria Schwab. I love Victoria Schwab, and I love Our Savage Song. This Savage Song? Swung? This Savage Song. Yeah. And then I can't wait to read Our Jack Duet. Yeah. This next one is a graphic novel by an amazing author, which is Marissa Meyer, who wrote the Lunar Chronicles and the Heartless book. I am so excited for this. It is called Wires and Nerves, and like, it looks like it's gonna be freaking fantastic. So keep your eyes out for this one. Hunted by Megan Spooner. Once again, I kind of like this cover. The green really stands out to me. Now I Rise by Kirsten White. This is the second book in the And I Darken saga. History is All You Left Me by Adam Silvera. And I still need to read a book by him. I do have More Happy Than Not sitting on my shelf, which I will get around to. I will. Traded to the Throne by Alwyn Hamilton. This is the second book in the Rebel of the Sand series, which I loved. And the covers, I just, I just love pretty covers. The next one is The Upside of Unrequited by Becky Albertalli, The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas, and I have so much excitement. If you guys haven't guessed by now, basically I'm just super excited for all these books that are going to be mentioned. Because You Love to Hate Me, this one is by various authors, which I am so excited for. There are so many good people writing this book, and I know I'm bound to love it anyway. The Crown's Fate by Evelyn Skye. I really love The Crown's Game, so of course I'm going to hopefully enjoy the sequel, and I'm definitely going to read it. And yeah, let's just hope that it is as good as the first one. Our Own Private Universe by Robin Talley, and I have read only one of the books by Robin Talley, so I'm very excited to read this one. When Dimple Met Rishi by Sanja Manon, I have heard only just amazing things about this book so far, and apparently it's like really cute, so I bet I'm going to love it. A Conjuring of Light by V.E. Schwab, and if you guys have read the Adaka Shade of Magic series, the excitement for this book is real. The last one ended on a cliffhanger, so you're kind of like desperately needing this book like you need air. Begin and Begin, which is a Love Oz YA anthology created by Gabrielle Toza, and there are so many amazing people who are writing in this book, and I definitely encourage you guys to pick it up because it it is all by Australians, so... Second last is Dracora, which is the third book in the Medoran Chronicles by Lynette Noni. First book is Akane, and the second book is Raelia, and it's just such a fantastic, easy, and fun fantasy read. So I just kind of desperately really need Dracora. And the last one is The Blue Moon Narthex by N.J. Donner. I am very excited. The first time I heard about this book, I was like, I need to read this. I'm also lucky enough to be doing an unboxing of the ARC 
book of this, which is like the advanced reader's copy. So I can't wait to show you guys and introduce you to this book because I know that many of you will love it just as much as I will. So there you guys have my 2017 most anticipated books and I wasn't kidding when I said there was a lot of them and I have just no idea how I'm going to control my need to like want them all because it's crazy. I think I'm actually slowly going crazy the more that I think about these books because I don't own them yet but they are out there. They created these are manuscripts that are just sitting somewhere and I need to know what happens. I just need to know. But I will be patient. I have no other choice but to be patient. Let me know down below what your most anticipated reads for 2017 are and if you guys are excited for any of the books that I have mentioned and either way just you know say hi. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have a lovely bookish day and that great things happen to you. I will do the exact same thing. I have eight books that I'm going to show you guys that are on my TBR and I will leave the titles below and we have one you guys think I should read the most. Like that comment and then whichever has the